Hello everyone, welcome to the show, the channel. Um, I'm here not for very long. I want to do a real quick talk on cleansing. Cleansing your energies, cleaning, cleansing your chakras to where you will live in only your energy. And of course, you know, just like you got to take a bath every day or whatever, it's good. I like to cleanse mine in the morning when I wake up and at night when I go to bed. And it's not very hard. It don't take very long, a couple minutes. The biggest time it takes is to get the imagination going in your third eye right here. And um, what I like to do is uh, I face the north and I look up and first thing intention and focus is everything followed with belief and faith okay okay so I look to the north and what I see in my mind's eye is this place of etheric you know mist and smoke and untouched by the hands of man and there's this giant pillar of crystal rock and the energy that comes off of it is like you know like lightning like a uh, light 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 flashes from it and I see a hole in this entrance a portal and what I do is I reach and I pull the waters and misty uh, waters that's from around that crystal that's pure, and I pour it down into my crown, and I see the waters as it goes through my crown chakra, my purple, you know, and I try to see the colors as it comes through the gold, the white gold of my, uh, you know what I'm saying, third eye, and then the blue as it goes through the bridge of my throat. By the time it reaches my heart, I work on stretching it out and releasing any negative energies that are in there. And I see these etheric waters cleansing and healing me as they go through my body. And I also come to my solar plexus where is self-love and self-esteem make sure any pain or hurt or offenses is taken out of there and that I realize that I am a valuable asset to this earth to this universe to everything and then I go to my sacral chakra and I cleanse it with these waters because this is the sacred I am I am here I am loved I am strong, I am courageous, I am brave, I am capable, the great I am, the sacred, you know, the sacred things, the sacred words, the sacred places. And then that water goes into my root chakra. And this is where I take a deep breath. and allow myself to fill up with those crystal etheric waters going down my DNA, the back of my spine. I imagine that too as my DNA is upgraded. And then I see vines and roots going down my legs and coming out of my feet and I ground as deep as I can. I have at this point grounded all the way into the crystal grid and I take the light from this this etheric place that I see in my mind's eye and that I have visited many times and I pull it through me all the way through my body as a conduit I let it cleanse me and flush it down into the power powerful crystal grid that runs through our planet and then I just hold there for just a second or two to let extras go into the crystal grid that it might cleanse and purify all through the mineral world. These rocks, like I see the mineral world in this other place, which is this giant crystal, stormy 
energetic, electromagnetic crystal rock, the rock. And um, then, after just a minute of letting this flow, I have been granted by Mother Earth to pull some back up of the energy back up into my own system. And so like a root, like a tree would pull water up out of the moisture and soil, I pull it back up in and I use the energy of the Mother Earth and the material crystal grid and mix it into my chakras, first my root, and then I pull it up and enter and share energy of the mother with my sacral. I share energy of the mother with my solar. I share the energy of the mother with my heart. And I share energy of the mother in my throat to be a voice for her. And I share the energy of the mother in my third eye and out through the top of my crown. Now this connection to me, the rock is the father, father of all creation. And it had the seeds that was in there to bring us from imagination or just a crystal vision into material realm. Um, and I connect Mother Earth with that and they connect within me. And so that's, what I do to cleanse my energies every day. And even now I felt it. I hope you guys felt it. Um, it's a real thing for me. Um, I'm not a religious person. I love the masters. I love training of the masters. I love looking back in ancient history and you know symbolism and things like that. And I have decided you know, that while I'm on this planet in this material body, I need to be connected with my Mother Earth because she supports everything I do. She supports my body. She supports uh, my hungers. She supports me and comforts me in every way. And the Mother is one of the most beautiful creatures God ever created. And I use her as my Mother. And she, she's adopted me and she treats me so good. And I bring her energies in and um, she blesses me for that. And I bless her for giving her her strength, courage and fearlessness. And so, you know, it's a beautiful exchange of giving and receiving. And if you only believe, right? Faith and hope are the first two steps. And then, you know, allow it to manifest in your life before you say it don't work. That's all I can say. And with that being said, I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Love you from the Mother Earth. That that was a little stumbling there. Love you. Mother Earth says she loves you. God bless. Bye-bye.